This is part four, the final part of my examination of the Bhagavad Gita, the great Hindu scripture. And what is, what always struck me when I first started reading this was how un-Western it is. For instance, in the Christian tradition, we're always taught to uh, that life in, and also in the Judaic tradition, that life is everything and, and to spare the enemy, etc., etc. Whereas in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, i.e. God, says to Arjuna, the warrior whom he's teaching, those enemy that you see out there, slay them to the last man. In fact, he says, I, as God, have already slain them. They are already dead. So you are simply enacting my will. And the, the underlying point of this whole thing is that death is an illusion in the Hindu tradition and of course in a lot of other traditions. So that, when you first start to read that, it kind of blows your mind. Can this be really, really, you know, spiritual? Um, beyond that, just to try to motivate you guys to read this, the other things that the Gita gets into are the things like karma, previous lives. I'm a big believer in that myself. The idea of duality and non-duality, the idea of attachment and non-attachment. And there's a wonderful section in here called The Field and the Knower, which I ripped off completely for my book, The Legend of Bagger Vance. And the whole point of that is, which actually is so deep I don't even understand it, is that reality is composed of two elements. The field, which is, you know, the material existence or even the spiritual existence, and then the knower, that's you or me that sees it. It's a lot like the principle of quantum mechanics that there is no reality until someone perceives it. So it gets really, really deep in a very short book. You, 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 I would say you could read it in an hour, except you have to stop after every quatrain and think about it and study it. So this is the last one, part four of the Bhagavad Gita. Oh, here's the, the translation I would recommend is the one by Christopher, Christopher Isherwood and also teamed with Swami Prahavananda. That's, that's the one I would recommend, but they're all great. Here's another one is Stephen Mitchells, who is wonderful at anything he translates. The Bhagavad Gita.